Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Yasin. Uh, I decided to make a new video uh, because the last one had some issue with the volume. So uh, here's a new one. So uh, why do I like breakouts? Uh, the reason why I like breakouts because I believe and in, in back on the years that I've seen trading and from what I've seen a lot of people do and then some professional and people that I learned from that that usually breakouts when 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 you have a trend when you have a stock that is trending into a range there is actually uh, a higher probability this once that stock stock break out of that of that range there is a higher probability that the stock actually might trend higher so that's one of the that's one of the reasons why I like trading breakouts uh, breakouts of course they're not for everyone uh, I knew uh, some people in the past and I still know some people that they don't like trading breakouts they just don't like them uh, and that's why I said they're not for everyone uh, and you should actually adopt the style that you like and then you then you can you can probably see a pullback and you if you would feel comfortable with it and that's totally fine so you just uh, you just have to find you, you yourself and yeah you, you have to you have to find what 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 your personality like and uh, uh, so like I said some people may find pullbacks and people just like to trade just uh, buying right from the support so everybody's a little different and that's totally fine um, what uh, next thing I want to talk about is uh, what's the character characteristics that I see uh, that pulls me when I see a, a stock that trading in a range and and and, and then he breakouts? What, so what what do I actually like to see when right before trading breakout? So um, I want to see actually uh, a long base. If I can see a long base, that it's you know a lo the longer the base, the harder it flies. That's what a lot of people say. As a lot of traders say, uh, if I can see that that uh, that range, if it if it's if it's like one year to two year, that'd be fine. The longer, the better. Uh, I just don't want to see. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about the downs and right now. Let's just talk about the do's. So, so I like to see a long base. So that's that's number one. Uh, from one year to six months to three months. Anyway, I just don't like to. Uh, trade short ones. I like trading short ones So that's like trading breakout from a swing high and uh, For example, like if the stock just broke out right in here. It just moves sideways and then I see uh, Swing high and it just broke out right from it. I like to jump on it. So that's uh, that's not, that's me too uh, And I'd like to give you an example of that one of the trades that I've done. It was uh, called Sam uh let's pull it out you can see the chart uh with the, the, actually the stock i always like to pull back and see what the stock did in the past and that, that's what just me i just don't like to jump in and blindly and go and just chase it uh so the stock actually broke out back here you can see it i've been following it the stock broke out in here came back tested and just it, it flew right from there came back all this time actually didn't do anything uh, and I believe this is the correction I call it the COVID correction uh, you can call it whatever you want uh, you can see the stock came back here and the step starting pattern one two three and then it digested a little bit pulled back and then that you get that high bar green bar right there and they just I, so I missed it and then it, it flew from here how much was that that was like about like 32 percent or over 32 percent that's a quick good vein but this is my uh point that i was going to make uh i had a swing high so if you miss it here or if i miss it like I, i'm that's fine i was, I was i'm always going to look for the for the another stock or just follow that stock you know like this one right here sam just pulled back to that 21 it did held it we broke below it sometimes but we came right back after it and then bam right there's so when I saw that they jump on it and then it was a winner you know in the stock right now just holding its its uh its flag and as you can see so that so the point I want I want to make here is even if I miss a breakout like that uh, I'll jump on a swing guys and you can see like a small tiny consolidation it's not a long base so this one will actually would be a long base here or a long base here you know what I mean so uh, that that was an example um let's jump back to uh what i what i like to see what's the what's the condition that i like to see on a chart or that stock right before i jump on it uh, as far as breakout so um uh i want to see a build up what i mean by build up if the stock just been going like that and then all of a sudden it came right to that resistance point 
on the one actually was bad um, so the stock has been acting up like that and then right in here it just flagged pretty much it just the, there's no much selling so this the selling dries out the volume dries out and then you, you have actually uh, uh, the stock some call it VCP volatility contraction uh, pattern which is basically there is no there is no selling there is no more sell. there's more buyers than the sellers and the stock will will build up will 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 will, will get ready for a breakout so that that's one of the signs that I like to see um, another one is um, yeah so actually you or sometimes it will be just like like the stock will be building up like that and then the stock will be actually making some higher lows you know what I mean I don't like to I'm not I'm not gonna get a writer actually with the with the muscle so you, you get the point you get a higher lows here and higher lows here and then the stock just consolidating and then you will see some big bar volumes or either here sometimes you can see some big bar volumes in here and then in here back to this place and right in here right in this spot you will see the volume just dry out you'll see like some small uh, small uh, volume bars so, so actually there is no selling so I get the long base just to sum it up you get a long base from one year to two year to six months to four months three months I just don't like to, to get a I, I jump in like I said on like that previous example well, Sam I like to jump in on the swing highs so you just gotta keep that in mind it's not a long base it's not the initial because for me I like to know I might jump in on the first time this is like the first initial breakout or is it a for, uh, first pullback or the second pullback that, that's actually that's for me that's very important I don't just like to jump in uh, blindly on a stock and it just because it made it made a consolidation I like to see how long and I like to see like I, I like to so uh, see many variables before I jump into that trade so a long base six months eight months four months whatever I just don't like to see more than what six weeks and then I like to see sometimes you'll see higher lows and then uh, I like I'll pay attention to the volume which is not a key uh, uh, for me I, I like to use in volume a lot because it's not a lagger indicator it has nothing to do with the price so that's that's not a key for me and I like to see a build up so that the stock will will just keep getting tight right in that right before the breakouts um, uh, and and I trade them both when on, on a downside and then on the on the upper on, on the if the side, if the side of stock has decided to go up or if the side of the stock tried to go down so I'll trade them both both ways so these are the, the variables and the, the things that I like to see when I before I trade breakouts um, uh, I just like I, I'm not the type of traders who just like like to pick up the bottoms and in here because that that's kind of like tough to to do and it just it's not just not me I like to I like to grab when the stock break out and then it just I'd like to follow it if I can make just a little bit of money in here that'll be good for me I don't like to I don't like to chase the stock in here or just sell at the top only fools like one of the best traders that I forgot his name he said only fools like to grab the, the stock from the buy it from the low and sell it at the top if I can if I can grab just a, a 20 percent or 40 or whatever like and do it many times that, that that's a, that's the key to success for me so um, so yeah and let's dive in real quick to the things that I don't I, I avoid breakouts uh, let's make a new one here uh, if the stock actually moves too fast let's say we're trading into a range and this actually can be the stock can be going like that uh, like it's been it, it will trend like this I'll give you an example one of the trades actually that I took uh, was Alibaba uh, you can see it right in here if I give you a chart you will see it better you see a resistance stock was making higher lows and at the same time was making lower highs so that's the first point second point you can make a trend down there you get the idea and then I was watching it the stock was making higher lows so and bam right there it just broke out usually you want to keep you want to pay attention to what the stock break break out what did it do did it make like a, a V bottom shape like that and this came right back see like in here sorry or it just came like that in here or it just when it broke out it did what did it do it just moved sideways sideways 
All right, so when I saw that, that was the key for me. And actually, right in that day, that's when I got in. And I, and you can, so the stock was up to something. So that's when I knew it. I grabbed it, put a stop loss right below there. And so I bought it. That was my buy day. I don't just waited. You just got to wait, you know. So right from there, the stock just, bam. So that's not a key. That's not an uh, example. Uh, I was going to show you a, a, uh, another example back here. I was going to put it in the monthly and show you. You can see another. Uh, this is a... Uh, Hawaiian I believe yeah Hawaiian hold I didn't trade this one but I just want to give you an example of what happened here on the weekly that's the reason why I like breakout because this almost like it looks like uh, Alibaba you can see higher lows let's delete this stuff right in here uh, delete yeah you can see me higher lows one two three and then we gotta you can you can tell me we're gonna argue here like there is actually a resistance either this way or that way and this is one of the keys that that actually uh, uh, I do when I when I analyze the chart I don't just like look at one things you know uh, I can give you this that one chart you can be a look I can be looking at it and you'll be looking at it differently so that's why I like to, to take it and then look at it from different angles different perspective you know put in a monthly put it in daily weekly that that's that's how I actually look at the chart. I don't just go in the daily and make my decision. I make my decision on the daily, but I, I like to, uh, to to look at it from different angles and see where the energy is going. So, uh, Hawaiian right here just broke out, as you can see. Just it did it pulled back, congest, uh, digested just a little bit, held right there for like a couple of weeks because, like we said before, we had that resistance here, and then since it broke out, there is no it was a free room on the top. There is no there is no resistance. So there is no structure I think I uh, discussed this before in my early videos uh, when I said um, um, let's make a new one a uh, new one not save so what I if, if you give me two charts so if you give me one chart that it's been trading lower and all of a sudden it just based right in here and then we had a, it just made a support resistance and it just broke out so if you give me this chart and you give me a chart that it's what uh it just consolidated and it's been trending like that and all of a sudden it just went sideways and it just broke out me personally if i have a choice and i have to make a decision which one of course i'm going to go with this one why because this one had no market structure to the left side of it even here there is no resistance because every like this one you will have resistance along the way and when you have resistance you're gonna have some short people waiting for it just to hit that to hit that level and then they will short it so this one it, it doesn't mean that the stock won't keep going it will it may it may not it just like you're better off with this one as far as I'm concerned I don't know about you but I'm just telling you I'm sharing with you what I what I what I liked over the past what I've seen what I back tested so so I'm just sharing with you my opinion I'm not saying this is gonna work 100% uh, as may know, I mean, just, uh, stock market is not a science. It's not a black and white. It's like you just got to look at it from different angles. You got to take so many variables before you make that decision. I'm just sharing with you my opinion, my experience, so you can make better decisions. All right. There's nothing 100%. There's nothing short in the market. All right. So, uh, so that's one point. Um, another point. Uh, actually, we discussed everything that I like. We talked about the build up. We talked about the uh, longer base consolidation right before the breakout I talked about uh, less volatility we talked about volume and we're making uh, yeah so those are the point that I, that I like to see right before I trade breakout things uh, that I avoid uh, breakout is actually when the stock moves too fast you have a, you have stocks being traded into a range and it just it went just like that I mean it went crazy so I'm talking about when I say crazy you meant there is no buildup in here all right so that's what I meant so the stock like it's been doing that and then it just it just broke out for me if you ask me why well if I buy this long old candle in here what am I gonna put my stop loss you know in here that's too much for me as you may know I don't like to risk more than I mean my max would be seven eight percent but I like to avoid it way before that like three to five percent that'll be good for me good good risk to reward ratio but this one this is too much all right so th again that's just me
and that's what I like a uh, risk in as far as I'm ready so it's if something moves too fast I just don't like it I like to see some build up if, if it moved then it break out and held that uh, uh, breakout level and just came back and he pulled back to one of the moving averages yeah sure not opportunity if that's not though there's over 7,000 stocks out there it's not only one so yeah uh, next one uh, large and, and yeah and the reason again is because there is large widespread action in here it's too much this is stock is moving from like what uh, just an example five dollars at twenty dollars I mean what are you gonna put your stop loss so uh, so not, that's not a point uh, another one let's make a new one here uh, it's another one is just not because the stock is gonna make a new 50 52 week high that means it, 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 it broke out and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna chase it if the stock's been trading like that and it's been sluggish actually there's no you know what I mean it just went just like that you can draw that support resistance I have to look at I have to look at many things I, I like to see smooth charts all right uh, I think as far as I'm uh, I like to see I think one of the examples I want to give you is why UMC let's see if we can pull at the chart here uh, yeah what is the chart come on in charts yeah look at this one actually um, I just don't like seeing that that for me I just I just like to avoid it I can see so many patterns here but for me I just like to to, to pass it on look, look at that look at that price action you know what I mean it just it trades for it's trading like that but I just just not me look at the price price action how is it's not clean if I pull up um, Sam for example I mean you can see it and it just jumped at you those patterns jumped at you and it's almost like a, tic, a textbook you know what I mean comparing to a uh, YMC I'm just giving you an example here you know what I mean I like clean charts simple ones things that jumped at you and that's one of the keys actually when when uh, f when, when I pick up uh, breakouts uh, another thing is um, let's clean that up uh, so we talked about stocks moving too fast without any buildup large widespread uh, price action uh, we talked about uh, not every 52 week high or new high that it's gonna work for me um, always be aware of the market structure right before you break out so uh, of course when I when I if I if I trade breakout I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the, the market to be in my favor the whole market action I want the market to be bullish and I want, want it to be trending higher I'm not gonna trade breakouts uh, even though it did work for me so well and so many times it, I'm not gonna trade breakout when the stock is trained in lower just that it's it just not gonna work It's not gonna work as well you might have some breakout and most of them are gonna fail that's just just uh, the way for me that's just that's my opinion again so I would like to see breakout I like to pick up breakouts when the market is going higher um, so avoid I avoid breakout against the market trend uh, I like don't don't chase the stock uh, once it moves a lot uh, like we talked about when the stock has been trading into a range like that and just move too fast just wait wait for another pullback wait for first pullback second pullback it just uh, there's always not opportunity you know it just don't fall in love with the stock no don't marry the stock just like a, somebody that's we hire for a job if you if it if it's doing what it's supposed to do just leave it if, if it's not just get rid of it get your stop loss honor your stop loss respect them and just get out and don't trade blindly know your environment know what your is that is, are you trading in a bull market are you trading a breakout on a, on a on a bear market so you have to just not breakouts there's a lot of people know breakout you know uh, algorithm knows breakout that's why sometimes you, you see a lot of fake outs you know so you know your environment know what stock you're trading is it like like the, the, the other one that like uh, you uh, why UMC just uh, you have to know you have to know what you're trading you know what I mean uh, like I said there's so many variables in, 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 in trading I like clean chart I like simple chart uh, I can give you so many examples that trade in the past CPRT for example uh, I mean you can pick up patterns you don't have to uh, you don't have to overthink once you start overthinking man you just uh, it just pass just pass it and don't trade it uh, I remember it trading is not science and nothing perfect nothing hundred percent sure always we do what we do we just we just make an educated guess 
and if it works it works if it doesn't cut your stop loss and just get out uh, believe it or not as I mentioned back in one of my previous uh, videos uh, it's not how many uh, how many uh, how many times you, you how many times you, you win it's it's how much you how much you won on that trade and how much you lost in that trade if I give you three trades a year for example and I tell you only lose about seven to eight percent on each trade and you lost the first one eight percent and then the second one you lost eight percent and then on the third one you won twenty percent did you lose money or you make money of course you won money and that's the secret to the market all right I'll leave it at that if you liked the, the video uh, gives it a, uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time watching the video I hope the, the mic issue is fixed and I'd like to see you soon uh, this is your scene plug in the plug out and you take care bye bye